Chevrolet Spark Motor Vehicle The Chevrolet Spark is a city car manufactured by General Motors' subsidiary GM Korea from 1998 to 2022. The vehicle was initially developed by Daewoo and was introduced in 1998 as the Daewoo Matisse. In 2002, General Motors purchased Daewoo Motors, which had the vehicle being marketed with several GM marks and nameplates. The third generation was predominantly marketed under its Chevrolet brand, including in North America as the Chevrolet Spark and in Australia and New Zealand as the Holden Spark Barina. The fourth generation was launched in 2015 and also known as the Holden Spark in Australia and New Zealand. It also serves as the basis for the Opel Carl in Europe, Vauxhall Viva in the UK, and Vinfast Fadil in Vietnam, the latter being manufactured under license. A limited production all-electric version, the Chevrolet Spark EV, was released in the U.S. in selected markets in California and Oregon in June 2013. The Spark EV was the first all-electric passenger car marketed by General Motors since the EV1 was discontinued in 1999 and the first ever offered for retail sale by GM. The EV1 was available only on lease. In the South Korean market, the Spark complies with South Korean light car, Gyeongcha, regulations, which regulate overall vehicle dimensions and engine capacity with tax and parking fee benefits. The Spark was discontinued after 2022. First generation, M100, M150, 1998. M100, 1998 to 2000. The production of Daewoo Matisse started in 1998 and it was marketed in South Korea and many European markets, internally designated the M100. The exterior design is based on the Luciola, a 1993 Fiat Cinquecento concept by Fabrizio Gigiaro at Ital Design, which had been rejected by Fiat. The 0.8-liter gasoline engine and the transmission were carryovers from the Daewoo Tico, but it now uses a multi-point fuel injection system. Engineering was carried out at Daewoo's Worthing Technical Center in England. The car became the best-selling Daewoo model in Europe and in India for the next four years. It was developed on the basis of the Daewoo Tico, version under license of the Suzuki Alto, with which both Tico and Matisse share mechanicals and suspensions. From this origin derives its characteristic narrow width imposed by the Japanese K-Car tax category. The Matisse was originally launched with just a 0.8-liter straight-three engine. It developed a maximum power of 51 horsepower, 38 kilowatts, and a maximum torque of 68.5 newton meters, 51 pound-feet, and had a combined consumption of 6.4 liters per 100 kilometers, 44 miles per gallon imperial. It had a top speed of 144 kilometers per hour, 89 miles per hour, and could reach 100 kilometers per hour, 62 miles per hour, in 17 seconds. This engine was developed from the Tico unit by Tickford, a UK company based in Milton Keynes. The Tickford connection was acknowledged in the brochures distributed in UK showrooms. It was released with three trim levels, E, S and SE. The latter had air conditioning, wheel colors, body colored bumpers, rear spoiler, fog lights, and a stereo, with optional features such as roof rails, power steering, central locking, electric front windows, anti lock brakes, and driver airbag. In certain markets, it was also available with an automatic transmission. M150, 2000 to 2005. This facelift was designed at Daewoo's Worthing Technical Center in England and introduced in South Korea in late 2000 and exported from 2001. The front-end structure was modified to accommodate a four-cylinder engine, although the introduction of this engine, the 1.0-liter S-Tech unit, was delayed until after Daewoo's takeover by General Motors in 2002. The M150 is still produced by GM Uzbekistan, previously Uzdewoo Auto, in Uzbekistan. The car was launched to the Russian market as the Ravon Matisse in 2016, but was soon discontinued. In South Korea and Japan, this updated Matisse was sold under the name Daewoo Matisse II. Lecce, China In China, the car was marketed as the Chevrolet Lecce. It remained in production until 2012 when an updated version was introduced as the Baojun Lecce. It is to be offered under both Chevrolet and Baojun brands during a transition period. The Lecce has also received certain powertrain updates, making the car economical enough to qualify for a subsidy and a tax break from the Chinese government. Safety 
Euro NCAP test results for a right-hand drive 5-door hatchback variant on a 2000 registration. Engines. It featured a range of three petrol engines which had these specifications. Copying controversy. The Cherry QQ3, then known as the Cherry QQ, became the center of an industrial copyright and intellectual rights controversy as GM claimed the car was a copy of the Daewoo Matisse. GM executives demonstrated the extent of the design duplication, noting for example that the doors of the QQ and those of the Spark are interchangeable without modification. GM China Group indicated the two vehicles shared remarkably identical body structure, exterior design, interior design, and key components. MotorAuthority.com and Car and Driver called the QQ a carbon copy, while the International Herald Tribune in a 2005 article referred to it as a clone. The Detroit News reported that the dispute reflects the confusion, risks, and ambitions in China's new auto industry where global car makers are battling pugnacious upstarts for a piece of what may become the world's largest auto market. Second Generation M200, M250, 2005 in 2005, the Matisse received substantial modifications, M200, previewed by the Chevrolet M3X concept car shown at 2004 Paris Motor Show. The upper body was revised, based again on a design by Ital Design Giugiaro, the STEC engines were updated, and the car's drag coefficient was lowered, resulting in better fuel economy. The interior was also significantly revised, notably with a center-mounted instrument cluster. The platform was also revised with a twist beam rear suspension system replacing the previous three-link beam axle and the front suspension using cast rather than pressed and fabricated lower control arms. In 2008, the 800cc engine was revised to fall below the 120 grams per kilometer level, thus qualifying for the UK's 35 pound road tax ban and no London congestion charge. In Europe, it was marketed under the names Chevrolet Matisse and Chevrolet Spark. In Italy, the LPG version was called Chevrolet Matisse Ecologic. It was built from 2007 to 2010 in over 60,000 vehicles by BRC Gas Equipment in Cherasco, Cuneo, Italy. In South Korea, where it was marketed only with an 800cc engine and following the introduction of M300 Matisse, Matisse Creative, the M200 Matisse was renamed to Matisse Classic Production, reached 2.3 million worldwide during the first 10 years. As of 2011, Vidamco of Vietnam produces the Matisse M200 as the Chevrolet Spark Light in complete knockdown CKD form at its Hanoi production facility. In India, the local manufacturer GM India produced two special editions of this generation, the Chevrolet Spark LPG, a version equipped with a sequential injection type liquefied petroleum gas kit, unveiled on the World Environment Day in New Delhi, and the Chevrolet Spark Music introduced in 2009. Third generation, M300, 2009. The redesigned Matisse, codenamed M300, was launched in 2009 and is based on the 2007 Chevrolet Beat concept car. Although sold globally as the Chevrolet Spark, in India this model retains the Beat name from the concept car, as the second generation Spark continues to be sold in this market. In some Latin American markets, the Beat name was also used, while Chile, Colombia, Ecuador, Mexico, and Peru received it as the Spark GT. Prior to the 2011 elimination of the Daewoo mark in South Korea, the third generation Spark was marketed as the Daewoo Matisse Creative. GM presented a pre-production version of the Chevrolet Beat carrying the Chevrolet Spark nameplate at the 2009 North American International Auto Show. The production version was announced at the show, but only the Beat concept was shown. The production Chevrolet Spark was unveiled at the 2009 Geneva Motor Show. It became available in Europe in the first quarter of 2010, followed by other markets worldwide, with US sales set to begin in early 2012 for 2013 model year. Production of the car started from December 2009 in Halal, Gujarat, India. It was launched in India in January 2010 as the Chevrolet Beat during Auto Expo in New Delhi. With the M300, the original Suzuki platform was replaced by GM Global Small Vehicles platform developed by GM Daewoo Engineers. Concept The Chevrolet Beat concept car was unveiled at the 2007 New York International Auto Show alongside two other concept vehicles, the Trax and the Groove. The Beat is a three-door hatchback concept derived from the Daewoo Kalos. It was designed by GM Daewoo in South Korea. 
It is powered by a 1.2 liter turbocharged gasoline engine mated to an automatic transmission. This version was featured in the Michael Bay movie Transformers Revenge of the Fallen as Skids alongside the GM Trax subcompact SUV. The Beat concept sports a vertigo green exterior paint job with the same hue carried over to parts of the interior. Its profile is high at the rear and tapering down evenly to the front of the grille. Headlights that appear to extend all the way from the base of the grille to the base of the windshield are LED type. It features 17 inch wheels with matching green paint of the disc brakes. Twin taillights that extend upwards to the backup taillights are also LEDs. In early 2007, GM conducted a poll testing the relative popularity of the Beat, Trax, and Groove concepts on a Chevrolet website, with the Beat receiving nearly 50% of the vote, which ultimately determined the car making it into production. GM displayed a prototype Woody version of the forthcoming Chevrolet Spark for the 2010 Paris Motor Show. Facelifts the first facelift was revealed at the 2012 Paris Motor Show. It features a redesigned dual port grille and front bumper, and restyled headlamp covers and fog lamps. The North American model, launched for the 2013 model year, uses the facelifted styling. The first facelift model was launched in India in February 2014. The facelifted Holden Barina Spark retained the existing front bumper, with its front grille being redesigned. A second facelift was launched in 2017 for the 2018 year with a design inspired by the fourth generation Spark, M400. Produced in India and Colombia, it is aimed mainly to developing countries. Beat Sedan Notchback, NB. A four-door sedan version was unveiled in a near-production prototype form at the 2016 Auto Expo in India as the Chevrolet Essentia. After GM halted domestic sales in India in 2017, the Essentia was ultimately cancelled for the Indian market. The model was instead exported to Latin America, either in finished form or as knockdown kits to be assembled by GM Colmotores as the Beat or Beat NB notchback. The Beat and its notchback version were discontinued from the Mexican market in early August 2021, giving the production run from 2018 to 2021 model years. The taxi variant of the Beach Notchback is still available for the Colombian market for the 2022 model year. Spark Beat Active A crossover styled version is also available in South America as the Chevrolet Spark GT Active or Chevrolet Beat Active. The concept version was showcased at the 2016 Auto Expo in India, however the production version was never sold in India as GM pulled out from the market. The production version is available in several Latin American markets starting from 2018. Markets United States The US version of the third generation Spark went into production on April 16, 2012 and arrived in dealerships in August 2012. Marketed as the Chevrolet Spark, the car uses a special upstroked version of the S-Tech engine, RPO code LL0. The 2013 Spark was the fastest selling car in the United States for July 2012 with just six days from when they arrived at dealers to when they were sold. For 2014, the automatic transmission is a JATCO M4M CVT7, continuously variable transmission, CVT, and the final drive ratio lowered to 3.75. The CVT gives better fuel mileage overall than the previous 4-speed automatic and changing the final drive ratio from its previous 4.145 reduces engine noise and increases fuel economy on the highway while increasing noise and reducing fuel mileage in the city. Industry sources have commented on the ongoing reliability issues with the JATCO CVT transmissions. Domino's DXP The Domino's DXP, short for Delivery Expert, is a version 2015 Spark marketed in the US which was customized by Roush Performance for Domino's Pizza where it was converted to a revival of a Canopy Express vehicle which was popular from the 1930s to the 1950s. Based on the mid-level 1LT trim of the Spark, the front and rear passenger seats are removed and replaced with storage compartments that can carry 80 pizzas, two 2-liter bottles of soda, and dipping sauces. The left rear passenger door is converted into a warming oven that can only be unlocked with the key fob or a button within the driver's door frame. The Spark's Chevrolet front grille is replaced with a custom-made black front grille with the Domino's logo as well as a custom lower body kit and all DXP cars have a custom Domino's themed vinyl wrap with a lighted Domino's roof topper. Production is limited to less than 200 units and once each car reaches 100,000 miles, it will be retired and returned to Roush, where it will be restored to stock form and sold as a used Spark. 
all four factory seatbelts and airbags are left fully intact and covered by plastic panels. Despite the intentions of Domino's to eventually retire the DXP and leave none remaining, several wrecked DXPs have been salvaged by private individuals with the intention of retaining them as rare cars when the rest of the fleet is retired. The situation has resulted in threatened legal action by a Domino's franchisee. Europe The third generation Spark was unveiled at the 2009 Geneva Motor Show. It became available in Europe in the first quarter of 2010. Engine choices include 1.0 and 1.2 liter i4 engines. In Italy, there is an LPG version of the Spark called the Chevrolet Spark Ecologic with BRC gas equipment as of the end of 2009. This bi-fuel version is available with the 1.0 and 1.2 engines, both with 16 valves, with 113 to 119 grams of CO2 emissions respectively. While the LPG cars are still available in Italy, in France the LPG versions were only available from 2009 until 2012. India Production of the third generation, badged as the Beat, started at Halal Plant near Ahmedabad in Gujarat in December 15, 2009. It was launched in India on January 5, 2010 during Auto Expo in New Delhi. The Beat was marketed alongside the second generation Spark which was offered as a more affordable alternative. The Beat is powered by a 1.2 liter STEC2 engine capable of petrol and LPG marketed as Smartec2. The engine was destroked from 1,206cc to 1,199cc for the Indian market due to lower tax imposed to vehicles with engine displacement under 1,200cc. In July 2011, General Motors launched the diesel version of the Beat in India. The three-cylinder 936cc turbo diesel engine produces 62.5 PS, 46 kilowatt, 62 horsepower, and 160.26 nanometers, 118 pound-feet of torque, resulting in good acceleration and pickup. The 1.0 liter 936cc diesel engine enables the car to reach 100 kilometers an hour, 62 miles per hour, in 16 seconds, and a top speed of 142 kilometers an hour, 88 miles per hour. Chevrolet Beat Diesel offers mileage of 24 km per liter, 56 miles per gallon, as per the Arai test reports. The engine is based on the Fiat Multijet diesel technology. GM India was reported to build an electric version of the Spark or Beat with Riva Electric Car Company. However, after the acquisition of Riva Electric Car Company by Mahindra and Mahindra, GM India dropped the plans and planned its own electric version. In Auto Expo 2016 in February, GM India showcased the four-door sedan version of the Beat as the Chevrolet Essentia, and a crossover-styled concept model as the Beat Active. Both models never went on sale in India as Chevrolet ceased sales in the country in 2017, however these models were exported to Latin America until 2021. Mexico In North America, the third-generation Spark was first delivered to GM dealerships in Mexico for the 2012 model year, but did not replace the Chevrolet Matisse, formerly Pontiac G2 Matisse, which was sold until 2014. In 2017, the third-generation Spark received a facelift and was renamed the Chevrolet Beat. On 5 August 2021, the Beat was discontinued in Mexico due to the Talagaon India plant being closed, leaving the Aveo as their entry-level model in said market. Philippines In the Philippines, the third-generation Spark is equipped with the 1.0-liter and 1.2-liter engines. It has two trims, the LS, 5-speed manual or 4-speed automatic, and LT, 5-speed manual. It was discontinued in 2015. South Korea the car was unveiled in South Korea as the Daewoo Matisse Creative at the 2009 Seoul Motor Show. The Matisse version was renamed to Matisse Creative. The car has a 1.0 liter STEC2 engine with 4-speed automatic transmission. Sales began on September 1, 2009. The groove name used in one of the rejected concepts returned as a trim level. In 2011, the Matisse Creative is renamed as Chevrolet Spark as part of phasing out the Daewoo brand in South Korea, making way for the Chevrolet brand. Australia In Australia, the third generation Spark was released in October 2010 at the 2010 Australian International Motor Show in Sydney as the MJ Series Holden Barina Spark. It was available in two trim levels, CD and CDX. It was discontinued in February 2018 to be replaced by the fourth generation model. Uzbekistan The Chevrolet Spark was released in Uzbekistan in August 2010. It was available in three trim levels, L, 1.0 liter manual, LS, 1.0 liter manual or auto, 
and LTE 1.2 liter manual. Russia. The Uzbekistan-made Spark has been sold in Russia as the Ravon R2 since 2016. It was available with the 1.2 liter engine and automatic gearbox. Safety. The Korean-made Spark, in its most basic Latin American configuration with no airbags and no ABS, received zero stars for adult occupants and two stars for toddlers from Latin NCAP in 2014. The Indian-made Spark GT, in its most basic Latin American configuration with no airbags, no ABS, and no ESC, received zero stars for adult occupants and zero stars for toddlers from Latin NCAP in 2016, one level above 2010 to 2015. Spark EV The Chevrolet Spark EV is a limited production, five-door hatchback, battery electric vehicle produced by Chevrolet in 2013 to 2016. The Spark EV was a compliance car specifically designed to meet the government mandate on automobile manufacturers to increase the penetration of electric automobiles into the fleet of all operating vehicles on the road in certain U.S. states, but was not intended for broad adoption in the broader U.S. market nor produced and sold in quantities that would meet demand for such vehicles in the open market where no such government rules exist. In October 2011, General Motors announced the planned production of the Chevrolet Spark EV, with availability limited to select markets starting in 2013. The production version was unveiled at the November 2012 Los Angeles Auto Show within the framework of GM's vehicle electrification strategy. The Spark EV was the first all-electric passenger car marketed by General Motors in the U.S. since the EV1, which had been discontinued in 1999. Sales the Spark EV was released in the U.S. in June 2013 with availability initially limited to the markets in California and Oregon. The first vehicle was leased to a family in the Studio City neighborhood of Los Angeles. The electric car went on sale in Maryland in the second quarter of 2015, the first East Coast state where the Spark EV was available. As of December 2014, U.S. sales totaled 1,684 units. In April 2015, GM announced a price cut of U.S. $1,650 to U.S. $25,995, equivalent to $29,720 in 2021. A new lease deal of U.S. $139, equivalent to $160 in 2021, per month was also offered simultaneously, along with additional discounts ranging from US $1,000 to $3,500, depending on the state. Sales jumped by approximately nine times from an average of 100 per month to 920 in April 2015 alone, in response to the price cut. The Spark EV was discontinued in December 2016 when Chevrolet began selling the Bolt, which had a much longer range and wider availability. In total, it was estimated from incentive data that 7,371 Spark EVs were sold or leased to customers in the United States, including a few leftover vehicles in 2017. Retail sales of the Spark EV began in South Korea in October 2013. The Spark was also available in Canada for limited fleet sales starting in 2014. Technical the electric car was initially powered by a 21.3 kilowatt hour lithium iron phosphate battery pack supplied by A123 Systems. In a white paper, the A123 nanophosphate cathode material was touted as increasing battery life and safety. In 2014, for the 2015 model year, the battery pack supplier was changed to LG Chem, which resulted in a smaller capacity pack while maintaining the same EV range, which was estimated at 82 miles. 132 kilometers under the EPA cycle for all model years. Rated economy was 119 MPGE, 29 kilowatt hours per 100 miles combined. The weight of the traction battery was reduced by 86 pounds, 39 kilograms, with the move to the smaller pack. It is carried over the rear axle and is equipped with a liquid thermal management system. The Spark EV is equipped with a standard onboard charger that can accept AC power at a maximum rate of 3.3 kilowatts. When equipped with an optional CCS SAE Combo Type 1 DC power inlet, the Spark EV can be fast charged to 80% of capacity in 20 minutes. Using the onboard AC charger, charging time increases to about 7 hours using a dedicated 240 volt charging station or about 20 hours using a standard household 120 volt outlet. It is the first car in the United States to offer a CCS Combo inlet. The 2014 production version featured a 97 kilowatt, 130 horsepower motor, providing 542 newton meters, 400 pounds feet of torque. 
The electric motor and final drive unit were assembled in GM's Baltimore operations plant in White Marsh, then shipped to South Korea where they were fitted to the vehicles. Alongside the new battery for the 2015 model year, torque output was reduced to 443 newton meters, 327 foot pounds, while power rose to 105 kilowatts, 141 horsepower, and the drive ratio was also changed from 3.17 to 3.87. Fourth generation M400 2015. The fourth generation Spark, internally designated M400, was styled under the direction of GM Global Design Chief Michael Simcoe, debuted at the April 2015 New York International Auto Show, and went on sale in the fourth quarter of 2015. It was also marketed as the Holden Spark in Australia and New Zealand. A restyled version was marketed as the Opel Carl in Europe, Vauxhall Viva in the UK, and Vinfast Fadil in Vietnam, produced under license. These nameplates feature revised instrument panel styling, revised side swaging, and a small quarter light in the rear door, displacing the high-mounted rear door handles of the Spark. In North America, at introduction, the fourth generation Spark is powered by a 1.4 liter 1,399cc 85 cubic inch LV7 dual overhead cam i4 gasoline engine producing 98 horsepower, 73 kilowatts, and 94 pound feet, 127 newton meters torque. The Korean domestic version, as well as Opel, Vauxhall, and Holden variants, used a 1.0 liter engine producing 75 horsepower and 70 pound feet torque. Markets United States. In the United States, the Spark is available in four trim levels Base LS, Mid Level 1LT, Lifestyle Oriented Active, available starting with the 2017 model year, and Top Tier 2LT. Each trim level is available with either a standard 5 speed manual transmission or a continuously variable transmission, CVT. Mexico. The Spark was launched for the Mexican market on November 4, 2015 as a 2016 model and only offered in the LT and LTZ trim lines, both of them powered by a 1.4 liter engine. 2018 Facelift In 2018, for the 2019 model year, the Spark received a mid-cycle facelift. Changes included a new third-generation 7-inch Chevrolet Infotainment 3 infotainment system, revised exterior styling, optional low-speed autonomous emergency braking AEB on selected models, and new exterior color options. In the United States, the facelifted Spark went on sale in the third quarter of 2018 for model year 2019. For Mexico, the model was facelifted in October 2018 as a 2019 model, discontinuing the LTZ trim line and adding the Premier and Active trim lines. Spark Active For the 2018 model year, GM introduced the Active trim level between the 1LT and 2LT trims, including leatherette trimmed seating, including leatherette trimmed seating surfaces, heated front seats, leather wrapped steering wheel, aluminum alloy wheels, unique black exterior styling elements, roof rails, rear lift gate, badging, and ground clearance increased by 0.4 inches. Discontinuation Chevrolet discontinued the Spark after the 2022 model year. Production ceased in August 2022. The Spark was the United States and Canada's least expensive new car on sale. Production for South Korea was scheduled to cease in September 8, 2022. Global Marketing and Manufacture Asia in India, it was launched in 1999 as the Daewoo Matisse. In 2007, General Motors India launched the Chevrolet M3X concept-based third generation as the Chevrolet Spark. In Japan, the Matisse was sold under the GM Daewoo brand through the Yanase Co. Limited dealership network, but was considered a compact car due to the length, width, and engine displacement exceeding the K-car regulations. In the Philippines, the Matisse was available during the years 1999-2000 through the grey market. In 2007, it was released under the name Chevrolet Spark. In Pakistan, the car was initially introduced as Chevrolet Exclusive in 2003. From 2005 to 2009, it was manufactured by Nexus Automotive, importers and assemblers of General Motors Korea and Daewoo vehicles in Pakistan, under the name Chevrolet Joy, which has now been replaced by the newer M200 series and is currently sold as the Chevrolet Spark. In Taiwan, the Matisse was sold under the Formosa brand between 2001 and 2009. Europe From 1998 until 2004, the Matisse was sold in Europe under the Daewoo badge. In 2004, it took the Chevrolet mark, as well as the other South Korean models of General Motors, such as the Lissetti and Kalos. Since 2000, CKD kits have been supplied to Uzdaewoo Auto, FSO, 
and Rode to be built and sold in Uzbekistan, Poland, and Romania respectively. At the beginning of 2005, FSO began marketing the Matisse under their own brand. The Chevrolet Matisse were briefly marketed as the Chevrolet Spark in the UK. The fourth generation was marketed in most of Europe as the Opel Carl and as the Vauxhall Viva in the UK until both were discontinued in 2019. Americas In Mexico, the Matisse was introduced to the market in 2003. The 2006 model was renamed to Pontiac Matisse G2. It was also sold as Pontiac Matisse and Pontiac G2. The Pontiac G2 was discontinued in Mexico after a short run of 2010 models as the brand was closed by General Motors. The version was officially launched as the Chevrolet Spark in August 2010 and the Matisse continues to be sold alongside the Spark. An M300 based vehicle is currently in production in Brazil as a replacement for the Chevrolet Celta. In Colombia, the Matisse was imported by Daewoo distributors between 2002 and 2005 and then GM Colmotores began to assemble and sell it branded as Chevrolet Spark. In 2006, a taxi version called 724 was launched. In Costa Rica, Dominican Republic, El Salvador, Honduras, Panama, Uruguay, and Venezuela, it is sold as the Chevrolet Spark. In Argentina, the first generation was sold as the Daewoo Matisse through Daewoo importers. The second generation was sold as Chevrolet Spark through Chevrolet dealers. Since 2011, the third generation is available. In Chile, Ecuador, and Peru, the former version is sold as the Chevrolet Spark and the latest version as the Chevrolet Spark GT. In Paraguay, it was initially sold as Daewoo Matisse, but from 2008, it is sold through Chevrolet dealers. In North America, the Spark was initially marketed in three trim levels, 1LS, 1LT, and 2LT, as well as the EV. In Canada, the Spark has been marketed as the country's least expensive new car from the 2016 model year, with a starting price of $9,988. For that price, the base Spark does not include air conditioning and comes with a manual transmission. It competed with the similarly priced Nissan Micra until that car's discontinuation in Canada as of the 2019 model year. Africa in South Africa, General Motors South Africa GMSA announced on October 2, 2010 plans to manufacture the new Chevrolet Spark at its Port Elizabeth plant. The second generation Spark is still sold, though branded as a Spark Lite. Middle East In Iran, the Matisse was produced, first imported and later assembled, and known as Daewoo Matisse. In Israel, UMI, Universal Motors Israel, Announced on January 18, 2011, the marketing commencement of the 1.2-liter Chevrolet Spark model. Australasia Within Australia and New Zealand, the Spark was sold through the Holden brand. Sales commenced in February 2016 with two specifications launched. The LS was the base specification, which features steel wheels, central locking, as well as Holden's MyLink infotainment system. Building upon the LS, the LT adds 15-inch alloy wheels, keyless entry, and a rear-view camera. With light car sales decreasing in Australia, Holden announced in April 2018 that they would discontinue the Spark in Australia, although it continued to be sold in New Zealand until the demise of the Holden brand in 2020. Thank you so much for listening right to the end. There are a lot of charts and quick facts and other info that you may want to check out the original article for. Of course, because we read these articles verbatim with no opinion or commentary added, we will not be answering any questions about the subject matter in the comments or via email, but we would encourage you to check out the article if you have more interest. And of course, please subscribe to the podcast. It helps a lot, whether you're on YouTube or Spotify or really any app, to hit that subscribe button so that you can get more articles that you may be interested in the future, and maybe you'll learn something. My name is Stacey Hewen, and thank you for listening to Wikipedia Audiobook.